Uh, developing this morning as we look at international headlines, the leader of a Russian mercenary group who infamously led an aborted mutiny against Russian President Vladimir Putin is now presumed dead. Yegevny Prigozhin's private plane went down north of Moscow on Wednesday, his death grabbing headlines around the world as questions have swirled about Putin's involvement. Did he order the killing? And what will happen to the thousands of fighters employed by the Wagner mercenary group? Uh, just this week, uh, we know that Prigozhin posted video appearing to show himself in Africa, his first video since leading uh, that, again, aborted mutiny. Tom Dempsey is live with all the developments. Tom. Hey, good morning, Adrian. Yeah, this morning there are plenty of questions going around and plenty of suspicion regarding the death of Wagner Group founder Yevgeny Prigozhin. In fact, several witnesses reported hearing one to two explosions around the time of this plane crash. Video also captured uh, the plane crashing and the fiery aftermath uh, as this plane crashed while flying uh, north of Moscow and flying to St. Petersburg, killing 10 people on board, including the Wagner Group's co-founder, Dmitry Yutkin. Uh, Russia's civil aviation agency says Yevgeny Prigozhin was on board this plane. However, there has been no official confirmation from the Wagner Group or the Kremlin about his death. Now, two months ago, Prigozhin became a top enemy of Vladimir Putin when he pulled his forces out of Ukraine and led them in an armed rebellion against the Kremlin. His forces shot down several Russian helicopters and Wagner forces captured the military headquarters running Russia's war in Ukraine. The mutiny came to an end when Prigozhin and Putin agreed to a deal that involved Prigozhin being exiled to Belarus. Before the mutiny, Prigozhin voiced lots of frustration with Russia's handling of the war. Speaking to reporters, President Joe Biden says the crash is not shocking when you take all this into consideration. I don't know for a fact what happened, but I'm not surprised. Do you think you would be believable? I mean, not much that happens in Russia with Putin not behind, but I don't know enough to know the answer. Also, lots of questions going around this morning about a second private jet linked to Prigozhin. It was uh, making its way to St. Petersburg, but uh, that one turned around. Also uh, under investigation is this plane that Prigozhin uh, was uh, allegedly flying in during this crash. Uh, it had a good safety record to it. Only one crash reported over the last 20 years, and that was uh, due to human error. So, again... Lots of questions going around about all this, guys. Yeah, it was interesting to talk to Ambassador Kurt Volker earlier this morning. He agreed that what we saw yesterday play out was, in fact, a, a public execution. Tom Dempsey, thanks so much. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.